I've got a tip that I, I think pretty much every SolidWorks user should know about how to work with imported geometry and make your dumb lump solid a little bit smarter. All righty, so I've got an IGES file here, and it's um it came from another CAD program. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And again, once once we get it open here, you'll see that, you know, I've just got um, a single feature here. It's an imported feature. I'm not going to run import diagnosis just yet because I see that it's been brought in using 3D Interconnect, which is great if I'm going to just be using the model as is. If I need to make some changes to it. So I'm going to right-click. I'm going to break the link here. And yes, I'm going to go down that road. I know it can't be undone. No fears. No fears at all. And so now I've just got this single imported feature. It's, it's a big dumb lump, as we call it. And as you can see, you know, it's got fillets. It's got holes. It's got cuts. It's got extrudes. But none of that is accessible to me. So again, I'm going to run those import diagnostics because it came in from another CAD program, which isn't SolidWorks. So again, we know maybe we're not getting the, the best data. And it found some problems, but SolidWorks is smart enough to go ahead and fix all of them there. So now we've got something we can work with. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I want to change the radius of this fillet that runs all the way around the perimeter. And I know what you're thinking. Eric, how are you going to do that? There's no fillet feature there yet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just pick one of those faces. I'm going to select Edit Feature. I know what you're thinking. There's no feature there, Eric. That's doing some thinking. And I'll pose the, the question, what were you just saying a moment ago? There's a feature there. Now if I edit it, it shows me that it's got a radius of a little bit under an eighth of an inch, about three millimeters. Well, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger here. I'm going to make that a quarter inch. And I know what you're saying now. What is this sorcery? Well, it's it's the, the resize tool. It's a subset of the, the FeatureWorks functionality. But again, you're also probably thinking, is that all it can do? No way. No way. I've got a couple holes here. I'm going to control select both of them. Once again, right click. And in this case, I'll, I'll say no. I just want to deal with what I've got there. Well, again, I've, I've got a couple holes right here. And this one, well, I, I need to make some changes to it. So again, I'm just going to right-click, select it, edit the feature. And it's doing some thinking. Notice it, it's doing some sketching real quick there. Again, my hands are nowhere near the keyboard. And now I've got a whole feature there. But what's great about this is, again, I can edit that whole feature. Now I can say, well, you know, gosh, maybe that should actually be a counterboard hole. And maybe it should be a counterboard hole for a, you know, a, a button head screw. And maybe it should be a little bit bigger. Well, maybe maybe for a, for a half inch one. Oh, well, maybe that's that's a bit excessive there. You maybe we'll go with you know five sixteenths. Well, again, lucky there, lucky there. This is a really great you know capability, a great tip for someone to know because. So many of us end up getting, 
you know, imported models. Maybe we download it from a vendor site or we get it from a supplier that's, you know, not using SolidWorks. And perhaps we might need to do some modifications on it. Um, if if I didn't have this capability, I, I might have to do a whole lot of additional work to change aspects of the model that, yeah, they'll, they'll meet my needs for the fact that I can, I can create features, especially something like if I, if I had edited both of these holes and turned them into whole feature, I'd be able to use them downstream in an assembly to create a component, a feature driven pattern rather than sitting there and mating each component, each faster into them one by one. <laughs>